Every once in a while, you have an image with a really boring background that you want to get rid of. Like this photo here that was shot in a studio, the gray backdrop isn't exactly what I was looking for in my final image, so I removed it and replaced it with one that's a little bit more visually interesting. However, in many cases, where did those backdrops come from? Not everyone has background images that they can use at the ready all the time. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use and play around with the on one backgrounds that are included in the suite when you get it. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. I have my image open here inside perfect layers. And on the right hand side of my screen in my layer stack, you'll see on the top is the photo where I've removed the background. Underneath, I still have my original image if I need it, but for the purposes of this video, I've already gone through and taken it out. On the left hand side of the screen, there's a tab called Extras, and this is where you'll access all of the different backgrounds that we have. Open up the On One Extras category, and then right up at the top will be Backgrounds, which I'll click to open up one more time, and now I have access to all of these different categories. We have everything from basic gradients, we have inside and outside backgrounds, we have skies that are great for replacing really flat, really boring or gray skies, we have studio backdrops that are a little bit more interesting than just flat white, gray or black, and we have walls, things like brick walls or wooden walls. I'm going to go ahead and open up the walls category. We'll click that once, and then I can scroll through and take a look at all of the different ones that are inside this category. Let's say for the purposes of this image, I want to scroll down and choose one of these brick walls here. To apply a background, just double click. It will open up this dialog box where you want to select the bottom option called Add as a Layer, and go ahead and click OK. Now, to resize the background, on the left hand side of your image is something called the Transform Tool, which I'll click to select. And in the Tool Options bar on the top right hand corner is a button called Fill. When I click the Fill button, it will shrink the background down to fit with your underlying photo. You still have a bounding box where you can make manual changes if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and click Apply. Now on the right hand side, I just need to click and drag my new background underneath my photo. As easy as that, we've got a brand new background for this image just by accessing the On One Extras that are included here inside Perfect Layers.